Okay, I'm now going to show you how to clean the pin guide, clean the pins. Okay, so first there's six screws you'll loosen and completely remove. You don't want to put too much force removing or tightening these screws because this is a plastic material and you don't want to take a chance of cracking, cracking or breaking it. So once I loosen them, I'll then go opposites and remove the screws. Okay, make sure when you're removing the pin guides that you flip it over and have the pins facing down. Otherwise, if you just pull it off completely, the pins are going to drop out. So, remove the pin guide. Then you can put it. So, pin guide removed. You can see the short foam and the pins. So, a way to test to make sure that your pins are moving smoothly is to put the pin guide down and just go like this. If some of them get caught up when they come down, for example, lift it up, push it down, and they stay up like that, you know that there's something inside of the pin guide. Paper dust, dirt. Um, so you can remove the pin itself and using a rag with alcohol you can clean each pin. You can also take the pin or a small, small drill bit and just clean out the hole itself just to make sure that there's no paper dust being stuck in. So just kind of wiggle it around. Again, not too hard because you don't want to make the hole bigger and making you uh, emboss a pancake dot. So just lightly go through there and just make sure there's no dust or debris holding up the pin. So you can do that all the way across. We recommend doing that um, at least just once a year or so just to make sure that you're printing at the best quality dot possible. So once you just check and make sure that the pins are smooth, you can then um, put the pin guide back.